Today's morning session is Professor uh, Duan Chun Kuang, uh, and the title is Remarks on the Macaulayfications of Northerian Schemes. Please. Okay, thank you. So uh, first, uh, I would like to, th to thank the organizer to uh, organize this wonderful uh, workshops and uh, to give me uh, an opportunity to come back to ICTP uh, after a very long time since I was a PhD student. So. I always enjoy the conference uh, of our community. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about um, uh, macroevification of uh, natural schemes. So, macroevification is a kind of uh, weak uh, resolution of singularity. Um, so, let me uh, start first with uh, the definitions. So, let pi uh, from y to x be a rational proper morphism of natural scheme. Then we say that pi is a macaulification if uh, y is cohemically. And uh, pi is a strong macaulification if it is, is a macaulification and it induces an isomorphism uh, over the uh, cohemically locus. So cohemically locus of X means uh, open subscheme contains uh, cohemically points uh, uh, in X. So that, uh, that is a remark. Uh, in the, uh, instead of co cohen macaulay property, we can use Gorean style or regular or complete intersection, then we have uh, on an arc. So for example, for, uh, uh, if we do regular Z, then uh, we have a, a definition of a resolution of singularities. So for this type of uh, uh, resolution, there are uh, three problems people are interested in. First is the assistant, and then the algorithm and application. So, in uh, in my talk, I uh, uh, I would like to uh, discuss about the assistant. Uh, so that's uh, um, uh, this is uh, some uh, information about the history of uh, this problem. So, uh, in the late of uh, uh, 1970, Brodmann and Panting initiated uh, the to markedly find uh, neutral schemes. And Fanting obtained the first uh, uh, important reason. He constructed a markedification for a neutral scheme of finite type over uh, neutral rings. So, uh, uh, so that the neutral ring admit a dualizing complex, and the dimension of the non cohen markedly locus of uh, the scheme is at most once. So the non cohen markedly locus means uh, the, the closed subscheme contain the non cohen markedly points of the scheme. Yeah. And uh, in uh, around 2000, Kawasaki uh, de uh, developed further uh, funding idea, and he proved, uh, he contracts the of uh, uh, any neutral scheme uh, uh, um, uh, over the uh, 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 neutral rings, admitting a dionizing complex and uh, uh, so that the non cohen Macaulay locus uh, has any dimensions. So he removes the condition on uh, uh, the dimension of the non cohen Macaulay locus. Later, he proved uh, uh, his construct uh, uh, equation for neutral scheme uh, if the scheme is CM excellent. So <coughs> it's it, uh, Later, I will uh, give the precise definition of CM excellent, but you can Im uh, imagine that we have the definition of excellent uh, rings, and we replace, uh, instead of uh, regularity, we just replace the uh, cohen uh, properties. So we have the definition of uh, CM uh, excellent. Uh, in two 2021, uh, Senavis uh, uh, proved a more general result. He proved that a CM quasi excellent scheme admits a strong macaulification. Uh, so first he extend um, uh, uh, the construction to CM quasi excellent. So CM quasi excellent means uh, we remove the condition on uh, catenality. So and uh, and it's so that it admits a strong macaulification. So it's uh, it's stronger. Yeah, much stronger. So I remind that um, strong macroequation means uh, there is an uh, isomorphism over the uh, uh, cohemoclean uh, co 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 locus. Yeah. 
so the, uh, some remark. Um, so the first remark is uh, the construction of the mock qualification uh, of uh, planting Kawasaki or uh, Senabesus. They rely on blowing up an affine scheme uh, whose center is formulated by using certain strong D sequence. So the, the notion of D sequence was given first by Professor uh, Hunicki uh, in the beginning of uh, 1980. And, uh, and the property of D sequence are very important uh, uh, in this context. Uh, to, um, to, to prove uh, some property of the blowing up. <coughs> and the second remark is uh, the mock qualification uh, uh, contracted uh, are projective and it doesn't depend on characteristic. So it's uh, different from resolution of singularity. <coughs> okay. okay, so now we come to the definition of the CM quasi excellent and CM excellent ring. Uh, so if we have a uh, neutral local ring, uh, we denote by, uh, uh, by R hat uh, M uh, R decomposition, then uh, we have uh, this uh, flat morphism. And the fiber of this, uh, this flat morphism is called the formal fiber of the rings. Uh, more precisely, this, uh, this fiber ring is called the uh, formal fiber of R hat P. And then a uh, neutral uh, local ring is CM quasi excellent if on the formal fiber uh, of its localization are cohemoclase. This uh, is a condition on the formal fiber. And the second condition is the uh, cohemoclase locus of any person domain is open. So, so this is uh, similar to the definition of uh, quasi excellent rings, but here we, uh, we require the formal fiber to be cohemoclase. <coughs> And a, a neutral local ring is CM excellent if it is CM quasi excellent and universally category. <coughs> and uh, from the work of Kawasaki, we know that uh, a neutral local ring is CM excellent if and only if it is a quotient of a cohemical ring. Yeah. So the, the condition is very simple. And a neutral scheme is CM quasi excellent or uh, respectively CM excellent if this local ring as CM quasi excellent, respectively CM excellent. <coughs> um, so the, <coughs> the relation between the, um, uh, the macrovacation and the quasi uh, excellent property is somehow it's not new uh, in the sense that uh, there are also similar um, relations between resolution of singularity and uh, excellent and quasi excellent properties. So this is, um, uh, uh, <coughs> uh, some uh, uh, some reasons. First, uh, in either A4, if uh, uh, there is um, <coughs> somehow it's, it's not stated precisely, but implicitly, uh, a conjecture of Kotendik uh, saying that a quasi excellent scheme admit a resolution uh, singularity. Somehow the the relation between the um, uh, um, between the resolution of singularity and the formal fiber was a motivation for Kotendik to define the notion of uh, excellent and quasi-excellent scheme. <coughs> and uh, in 1964, uh, from the work of Hironaka, uh, he, 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 he proved that uh, an integral scheme of finite type of a quasi-excellent Q and the bra admit a resolution of singularity. And later, Lipman uh, proved that a two-dimensional excellent neutral scheme admit a resolution, resolution of singularity. And um, uh, recently, uh, Temkin in 2008, he proved that a quasi-excellent neutral Q scheme admit a resolution of singularities. <coughs> um, and, uh, I'm sorry. And, uh, uh, at the same time, uh, from the work of Gaber, um, we can, uh, it, it implies that the uh, quasi excellent neutral scheme admit an alteration. So, alteration is a, is a, um, uh, uh, later I will give the definition uh, of, uh, of, of this notion, but uh, it is a, uh, is, is a, a weaker, uh, weaker version of uh, resolution of singularity. <coughs> and uh, uh, <coughs> so we we can people can add a similar result for Gorenstein property or complete intersection, 
uh, but uh, until now there's no reason about uh, about the, uh, uh, <coughs> this uh, property. And now uh, uh, I come back to uh, the uh, macro applications. So, so here uh, the reason of Cernavisus uh, uh, is the most general uh, reason about the existence of um, macro application. Uh, then there are uh, a couple of questions. Uh, the, the first is, um, is the CM quasi accident the weakest condition to guarantee the existence of a macrolification? Or we can prove, uh, the, we can contract a macrolification for more general scheme. That's, that is the first question. And the second question is the relation between the existence of a macrolification and uh, of a strong uh, macrolification. Or a more direct question, is it possible to contract a strong macroification from a macroification? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, uh, in my talk, I will discuss the question for other uh, the two questions. <coughs> and uh, for this, uh, I, uh, I need first a base chain uh, result. Uh, <coughs> and, uh, First, I, uh, uh, I define the notion of uh, CM alteration. So it's uh, an uh, uh, analog notion uh, to the Dozong's uh, alterations. So net X and Y be neutral scheme, and uh, pi be a proper dominant morphism. And we suppose uh, pi is uh, generic only pi nice, and Y is cohen place. Then uh, we call the pi uh, CM alterations. So the, the difference between the uh, CM alteration and macroification is uh, is the first condition. Uh, so he, uh, for uh, for macroification, we require pi to be generically uh, isomorphic, but for uh, alteration, we just require it to be finite. Yeah. <coughs> um, because the scheme are locally uh, are notary or locally notary, and the morphisms are finitized, so the uh, so this condition uh, the condition are equivalent to saying that there is an uh, open sub scheme in X, so that uh, the restriction apply to the to this uh, sub scheme is finite. Yeah. So it's uh, it's quite simi similar to our intuitions. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Now, so now come a technical lemma about uh, <coughs> uh, base change. So, uh, if we consider a fiber uh, product uh, diagram of local neutral schemes, uh, and if we take uh, a point a y prime in in y prime, and then uh, x prime in in x prime, and y in y and x uh, corresponding points in x, then if the homomorphism, uh, homomorphism from uh, uh, this uh, local ring at x to the local ring at x prime induce an isomorphism on the MRDIC uh, combination, it means that uh, the two local rings are analytic isomorphic. Then so does the, mm, the, 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 the base chain. Yeah. <coughs> so the base chain is preserved uh, an analytic isomorphism. This uh, this lemma uh, is due to Kotendik. Uh, it's written in uh, EZA. I forgot to write name here. <coughs> then uh, we we have a um, a corollary of the lemma. So um, uh, if R is a local ring, then uh, we do not uh, X the, the, the spec of R and X prime the spec of uh, the combination or, or the Hansenization. I mean. Uh, here we can replace, uh, we can take uh, any uh, flat uh, extension of R uh, so that uh, uh, it is uh, uh, an analytic uh, fully isomorphic to R. Then, <coughs> and if we uh, have a finite dimorphism from Y to X, uh, and we denote by Y prime, uh, pi prime uh, base chain, uh <coughs> and if we take a, a closed point in the space of fiber of uh, Y prime, uh, and denote by y the, the image, then the MRD combination of the, of the two uh, local rings are isomorphic. 
so in, in, in our work, we, in, uh, we need Zeta to, fix, uh, to transfer the cohemoglobin property of this ring to the other ring. So, so uh, if pi is universally closed, then the, uh, the scheme y is cohemoclase if and only if so is the base chains. So it's a base chain of the cohemoclase property of the morphism. Uh, it preserves the cohemoclase property of the morphism. Yeah. <coughs> and uh, and uh, no, um, uh, for uh, we, we stated for uh, macroelectrification or CM uh, alterations. So if R is a local ring, and uh, uh, I is a fact of uh, the combination or the Hansenization, uh, then if a morphism uh, pi is a CM alteration of X, then the base change pi prime is also a CM alteration of uh, X prime. So the base chain is also uh, preserve the, uh, the resolutions somehow. Yeah. <coughs> uh, we, we do this. Uh, oh. Ah, okay. Uh, and the, the, the second uh, pro property we need is uh, some design on um, on flat descent. Uh, <coughs> um, for for this, we, uh, we need to uh, to uh, define a, a subset of the cohen Maclay locus of X. So um, we say that a natural scheme X has a CM form of fiber at the point X. If we uh, uh, if for any closed point, um, uh, which is a, a, a um, uh, generalization of X, uh, um, then the uh, 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 form of fiber of the local ring uh, uh, at, the, uh, at, at Z uh, is uh, of the local ring um, OXZ at X is cohemoclase. So <coughs> um, there is an uh, important remark uh, saying that I has a, a CM form of fiber, I, even only if the Zariski close uh, at this point, has a CM form of fiber at the generic point. So we, uh, uh, instead, uh, if, if we are interested in the coherent property, property of the form of fiber at a point, instead of look at the, the whole scheme, we can consider only the sub-scheme corresponding to the point. And then it's just, um, it is a generic point of the, this close-up scheme, and we have some way to to call, to, to to control it. Yeah. <coughs> and we set CMF to be the subset of uh, the uh, cohen uh, locus of X, such that uh, uh, the, it has the CM form of fiber. Then with this set, uh, we have the, uh, the following uh, uh, flat descent uh, results. <coughs> if we have a universal closed uh, morphism of finite type between neutral scheme, pi, and uh, <coughs> we suppose there are two uh, sub-schemes, so two open sub-schemes in X and Y, such that the, uh, the recent morphism is, a, uh, is flat, then we have the, uh, the, the following uh, property. First is, um, if uh, pi we, um, we map the points uh, in uh, CMF y to the to the subset in CMF x, it it means that if uh, if on the point, for example, if on the point in B um, are, has cohemically uh, form of fiber, then it will map to uh, uh, some. Um, uh, then on the on the point in in X wing have a form of fiber, yeah. <coughs> uh, uh, this uh, this uh, this is is uh, important in our work because uh, we are interested in the uh, macroelectrons. So we have a macroelectron from Y to X, and uh, and Y is coherent place. So the question is uh, how good is X? So so this uh, wing somehow it's going to uh, transfer the property from, from Y to X uh, by, by, by the inclusions. Uh, <coughs> uh, OK, 
Okay, so I skip the other property. And, and I, uh, there, there are uh, some remarks. Um, so in, uh, in this proposition, we, uh, we assume that um, there are two uh, close, uh, two open subscheme in X and Y, so that uh, there's a flat morphism between uh, these both uh, open sub uh, scheme. Then the open subscheme appear in the following situations. So for, uh, the first is uh, if X is reduced and uh, phi is a universally closed morphism, then by generic flatness theorem, then uh, there is a dense open subset uh, U and X, so that the base chain is, is flat, yeah. The, the, second, the second situation is uh, if uh, pi from Y to X is birational, then of course there's a sub-scheme in X, so that we have the isomorphism. And open subject in X and Y, then we have this isomorphism by definition. <coughs> okay, so, so now, uh, now come a corollary uh, of the uh, proposition 11. Uh, uh, proposition 11, yes. Uh, so let pi be a universal closed morphism of finite type natural scheme. And if y has a CM form of fiber at a point, then it also have a CM form of fiber as a corresponding emit point. So if a neutron scheme admits a multiplication, then it had a CM form of fiber at own points. Yeah. This is um, the implication from, from the descent property. Yeah. <coughs> and similar for, uh, similar for the CM uh, alterations. I have a remark about the subset CMF. We may expect that this is an open sub-scheme of, uh, of X, but uh, it's not all the way like that. So this is, um, there is an uh, example by Pratman and Rastow. Uh, they constructed a three-dimensional domain. So that the combination is a domain. And this ring has a unique and principal prime ideal so that the form of fiber at, uh, at this point is not coherent place. But uh, the form of fiber at other points uh, uh, are coherent place, but only uh, at this point. So the, so the coherent place of, uh, of this, uh, the coherent place of the ring is uh, the, the punctual spectrum of the rings. So in this case, the co coherent place of code is it's open, but, uh, but, um, but this uh, subset is a, uh, um, is it, it's not open. Yeah. So in general, this subset is not open. But uh, for our descent property, we, it's necessary to consider this set instead of the cohen locus. Yeah. <coughs> uh, okay, now comes the, uh, the main results. Uh, so this is the main uh, results. Um, it's uh, using the <coughs> Uh, the, the descent uh, property, we, we are able to, to show that a literal scheme admit a multiplication if and only if it is CM quasi excellent. So um, here we have if and only if uh, uh, result. Um, <coughs> to, pro to prove these uh, theorems, uh, the, um, the, 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 uh, the convex direction was uh, Senna v suit um, design. Uh, as, as, as I said, he saw that uh, CM quasi excellent uh, admits a strong multiplication. Yeah. And this is uh, the, the hardest part of the, of the theorem. Uh, this is it's much harder. And for, for the other direction, we, uh, we need to use um, uh, the, the descent property. Uh, <coughs> and uh, it, it means that if, uh, if uh, we, if X is a neutral scheme and uh, we admit a mock qualification, uh, then by the descent property, um, because Y is, uh, is a coherent place, then it implies uh, y, has, uh, y is coherent place, so it has a coherent place form of fiber at any point. So because of this, uh, using the descent uh, results, it implies on the uh, point of X has uh, Form of fiber. Yeah. And um, 
also using uh, the decentralized uh, as other uh, property, uh, um, other statement, uh, we can uh, so that uh, I can also certify the, the certain uh, requirement for the uh, open need of the Cohen McLean locus. Then we can conclude that uh, I is uh, uh, CM quasi excellent. Uh, I, I, I skip uh, the proof for the open. Uh, Open it of the CM uh, Mokre the, the, the more important part is uh, about the formal fiber, I can say. So. <coughs> then we have uh, some corollary of the, uh, of the theorems. So let X be a uh, natural scheme, then I admit a strong and projective multiplication even only if it admits a multiplication, and even if it admits a CM alterations. So if, if we look at this, uh, the condition, then of course the CM alteration is um, seem to be more general. But the existence of CM uh, alteration or an even strong macroequation are equivalent. Yeah, we we <coughs> we we are not able to to uh, to prove uh, to directly from, uh, for example, from uh, C to A. But we had, but we, we, we know that uh, if I, uh, I admit a CM alteration, even though if it is uh, CM quasi excellent, so yeah, on uh, equivalent. Yeah. <coughs> um, another uh, another corollary, because the scheme of finite type of a CM quasi excellent is also uh, quasi, uh, CM quasi excellent. Then uh, we uh, uh, we can so that's a, a scheme of finite type of a CM quasi excellent uh, scheme although we admit a strong multiplication. So in in, part, in particular, uh, um, uh, if a lateral scheme admit a multiplication, then any close subsequent also admit a, a multiplication. Three minutes. I, I have some remark. <coughs> um, the remark is about the local case. So, if R is a neutral scheme, then <coughs> um, then the condition for uh, um, uh, for so the CM for quasi excellent uh, uh, is similar for local rings. So. <coughs> If 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 uh, if R is this lateral scheme, then uh, and with if uh, if uh, if uh, on a formal fiber of uh, a Cohen place, then we we can we can we can show that the Cohen clay locus of R is open. It means that the condition on the formal fiber implies the condition on uh, on the openness of the Cohen clay locus. But this is true only for local ring. It's not true for any natural rings. So it's a reason why for 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 any scheme we uh, we also require the condition on the openness of the locus. Uh, <coughs> so by this uh, observation, we uh, we have the uh, corollary uh, 17, saying that um, the spectrum of the local ring admit a multiplication even only if on the formal fiber of the ring quite locally. So it's uh, a little bit similar uh, statement. <coughs> and the, the second remark is about uh, flattening, uh, flattening the stratifications. So uh, it, it's a result of Kotendik um, uh, uh, that uh, if we have a projective morphism between the two uh, neutron schemes, then there is a stratification uh, of the uh, of X such that the endomorphism is flat. People call it a, uh, uh, a flattening uh, stratifications. So in 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 our work, we 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 uh, we had a feeling that there are some uh, relation with with this property, and we raised uh, this, this question. If we have a projective multiplication, is there a flattening stratification of the morphism uh, such that uh, every strata at i is a uh, cohemoclase? Uh, I want to remark that uh, 
there could be many uh, many uh, flattening uh, certification. It's, it's not unique. Yeah. So I just ask whether there's one. If it's one, then it's it's now we can uh, have some application application of this. Yeah. So I finish uh, my talk here. Thank you for the attention. Thank you. So are there any questions or comments? Uh, on the, I'm, I have some comments on the name of the uh, Koe Makole Excellent. No, 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 Koe Makole CM Excellent or Koe Makole Excellent or which? Koe Makole Excellent? Yes, CM, yeah. Uh, CM Excellent. Yeah, so the, maybe the Gorenstein Excellent is acceptable? Have you heard yes, of it? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, uh, uh, when Kawasaki announced his uh, result uh, at the conference and uh, uh, Professor Sharp was there and I asked him, is there any similar name for it? And then he answered, uh, I, I once used the name tolerable. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I haven't seen it, it, uh, the name in the literature. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, is there any questions? So, if not, uh, let's thank the speaker again. <laughs>